Hi, I'm Joy. And I need to tell you something. I'm fat. But don't worry, don't worry. It's not contagious. I promise. Girl, come on in here. It's time for a girl chat. Hello, my lovelies, and welcome to today's video. And this is going to be a girl chat. We need to talk. Y'all got to come on in here. Hey, Liz. Hey, Natasha. Hi, all my lovelies who are returning. And also, if this is your very first video, welcome. My name is Joy, aka Joy Amore, and I'm your resident fat girl. And this is a girl chat video. We're going to get into some things. Usually, we talk about dating or lifestyle choices, or we just talk about things that plague us as women or plus size women, you know, and you know, the things that we have to deal with. In the beginning of my video, do not leave. Don't go anywhere. You stay right here. We have to do our housekeeping, house cleaning, and a little bit of homework. So really quick, if you haven't already, please like, comment, and tell me what are some of the stereotypical misconceptions that you believe that people have about you? Drop it down below. Let's have a conversation. I want to talk and I want to know. Also, if you haven't done so already, I don't know what you're doing. Please click subscribe, 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 subscribe. Also, if you haven't checked out my last video, don't do it now. But at some point, check out my last video. And really, really quick, the end of our housekeeping and homework is... Shout outs for this week. So... Forgive me if I say your name wrong. You know I love you. If you ever thought that somebody didn't love you, you know that I do. So forgive me for that. Victorious Victoria, Courtney Shines, Shawana Bond. Forgive me, babe, if I'm saying your name wrong. Welcome. Thank you for being here. Allison Ezell, I love you, girl. Elizabeth McBride. You know you my VIP, Liz. Manda, she's so soft. Thank you for being here and for supporting me. We're going to talk a little bit about that today in today's girl chat. If you are still here and you haven't done so yet, what are you waiting on? Subscribe, like, comment, and share this video for somebody else who may need a little bit of a pick me up somebody who you think would get something out of my words that i'm going to share with you so i'm a little parched give me a second i'm always afraid to drink anything when i'm wearing white this top is from rev dolls and it's a 5x and i love it and i do have on a bra it's a strapless that's from Tort. Who knows what size that is. Anyway, we're doing a girl chat. So, I said I was going to have a list of things where we're going to be organized. And I was going to give you three tips and five tips and four ways and 30 days. But not today. I really just feel like I want to talk and have a girl chat with you about something that's kind of bothering me. And that's on my mind. So, as most of you know, I'm new to the internet in that I'm trying to develop my platform and my little neck of the woods, which is to empower, uplift, and encourage plus size women, specifically minority women, but really all women, all shapes, sizes, all backgrounds, all of that, right? And so I decided to go on Facebook. I started Facebook and I was invited to a lot of groups, a lot of different groups, some African-American groups, some groups are all women, some groups are people who are new to YouTube, just different types of groups. And I've been supporting people and subscribing to people and trying to find like just a community of people that I can care about and that who genuinely I thought would care about me, you know, and care about what I'm saying. Cause you know, I mean, if you don't like yourself, nobody else will. 
right? And if you're not interested in your content, then who else would be, right? Well, it's been difficult. You know, I have, I think, been living in a bubble a little bit in that I've really only been around people who I genuinely like and that who like me and I've surrounded myself in a safe space. You know, I haven't really invited opposition or put myself into situations where there were people who didn't really like me or really weren't interested in me. So um, to me, that's just in a roundabout way being protected from rejection because that's what that is that is rejection when somebody chooses to not get to know you or chooses to not be interested in you or chooses not to support you based on whatever bias or preconceived notion that they have about you you know that is being rejected and that's still you know even though i am a grown ass woman i'm over the age of 30 i still deal with overcoming rejection and even more so as a plus size woman seeing that i am disproportionately discriminated against and not given a chance and the worst thing about it is that it's not even people who don't look like me it's people who look like me that's the part that i'm so confused by so i feel like i've been posting a lot and saying hey come you know i'm a plus size youtuber I'm African American. Um, really, I'm, my parents are from the Caribbean, but um, I'm a black woman, and this is what I do. This is what I'm looking for. Blah blah blah. Ninety percent of the people who have responded to me have been either not plus size or not African American, and that's confusing me because I would think that people who look like me would find the value in me first and that's not always true and that hurts me more than people who you know like I expect people who may not look like me to may not relate to me or may not be able to understand me but those who look like me I guess I just maybe have a little bit higher of an expectation and I still but the thing that I'm learning from it and I want to make this girl talk positive the thing that I've learned from it is that, number one, I'm not too old to be opposed to dealing with rejection. I still feel rejection. And I feel like it's okay to feel that rejection. What is not okay is to stay in it. So it was hard for me today. I really, I had a hard time. Like it, it really bothered me. Um, and I think I'm going to sleep on it and it'll be better tomorrow, but it, it, it was difficult, you know, that I may post in not just one, several minority based, um, YouTube groups, several. And I got, I saw other girls who were slim, who were light skin, who, you know, maybe, a, you know, uh, different ethnicities, basically, let's just be real, who were more than likely leading society standard of beauty make content that and i'm not being arrogant but i put a lot i have a full-time job i go to school full-time i have a lot i wear a lot of hats and i put a lot of effort into these videos for you girls because instead of being complaining about not seeing a representation of myself i just want to be the change that i want to see i want to be that but I've seen some girls who are not putting, I mean, they're not even putting half the effort in that I put into making these videos. However, they're getting three times the response and that is difficult, but that all comes down to rejection and dealing with rejection. So this girl talk, I, I'm just focusing and just sharing with you the girls what I faced this week that brought up some residual feelings about some things that really I needed to deal with. And there was no one that I could really blame that on but myself. And I have to understand my worth. So I'm sorry I'm fidgety. Um, I got a new wig. This one is from Maven. And you know, I always tell y'all about my wigs for whatever reason, me and hair is just like, my biggest contingency in life is hair. I have the worst time with it, but I like this this wig. It's cute, but you know, it's still new. So it's kind of like, oh, is it right? Ugh, you know, anyway, 
But I think my lesson from dealing with rejection this week has been that I still have to go forward. I can't be stuck in that rejection mode, in that rejection moment. So I have to go past that. Um, the second thing is, I said I wasn't going to do numbers, but the second thing is that I'm going to address how I feel in that moment. In that moment, I feel rejected. And I don't like the way that feels. And yes, I'm going to move on, but I'm also going to acknowledge that I feel rejected and that bothers me. And then the next thing and the final thing that I would say it, with dealing with the rejection, accepting it, acknowledging it, and moving past it is not becoming bitter. I'm not bitter. I still love African-American women. I love African-American men. I love Chinese, Asian, you know, whatever the correct terminology is to say, Indian, African, Caribbean, Caucasian, whatever nationality, whatever socioeconomic background, no matter what, even if you have rejected me, even those that, you know, ignored my post or unfollowed me, you know, um, I still, I'm going to support you because you know what? I don't know what your situation is or how you are or where you're positioned at in your life. And I can just hope that I am not going to judge you according to what you did one moment in your life. You know, I'm not going to judge you based on just that one moment. And I'm going to continue to watch and support because maybe you faced rejection. Maybe you've had a lack of support and maybe that's led you to be the way that you are. And hopefully I, again, can be the change that I want to see. So I'm going to keep doing these videos. I'm going to keep supporting others who look like me and others who don't look like me. And I just charge you ladies for this week's, you know, lesson that we're learning is that it's okay to feel rejected. It's okay to sometimes still deal with things that you have thought that you've gotten past. It's okay to have residual feelings because that is human it's just not okay for us to live there build and set up shop there and stay there okay so listen this one's a short one um i just wanted to be honest and transparent with you about it i'm really interested to know what type of biases that you deal with what type of stereotypes that you deal with how do you deal with rejection please share this video with someone who you feel needs to hear the fact that they are valued, even if they have been rejection, be even if they have been rejected, or even if they have had denial or even delay, that doesn't mean that that's the end. You know, you can still go past that. You know, this is your pep talk from one big girl to another, from one woman to another, from one black girl to another, from one human to another. You're valued, you're loved, <laughs> you're wanted, you're desirable, you're amazing, you're intelligent. Whatever those words is that you're needing to hear, I don't reject you. I accept you just the way you are. And thank you so much for watching. Please make sure, again, share this video with someone who needs to hear it. Like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to follow me everywhere at Miss Plus Some More. And remember, beauty is a state of mind, not body. My mind is stuck on gorgeous. What are you thinking? I want to know. Have a great week, y'all.